And uh, I'll tell you what, it's so nice to be off the tarmac. Wow, this is cool. Ten centimeters away. They obviously get fed way too much. They're way too tame. But we're still having a great day. Well, at least one of us is having a great day. well you can see right now but we've just come past through Hawker and up there is the Flinders Ranges so we've made it we've got 50 kilometers till we get to Willow Springs Station where we'll be staying for a few days and exploring this area but it's looking beautiful it's looking pretty impressive I'm sure there's gonna be a few climbs and a few gorges to explore. But anyway, happy to see it, happy that we're here. Bikes are running. Chris's bike hasn't cut out today. So we're pretty happy about that. My chain is still as tight as it was when it got replaced. So adventure lies ahead. It was a bit of a rough day yesterday. We finally got a Flinders, set up camp in the absolute bush. And it was just really weird because this morning we woke up and we could hear, I don't know if you can hear that, there's like construction in the distance. And it just happened, happened. I mean, it's just crazy luck that we ended up somehow pitching um, in a resort by accident. The pool's nice. The pool's quite nice. The, the bar's cold, nice. The cold beer is good. The toilets are good. The showers are good. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to the pub. But when they offered us a cabin, that's when we that's when we said no. Look, we've we've got to do it rough. So hardcore. Hardcore. <laughs> so we're still sleeping in tents, but we decided to what's this what's the lodge called? Wilpina Pound. Oh Wilpina Pound Resort. I don't know if it'd be a resort. It's not really it, a it is a resort. Is it's a, got a pool. Okay. Um but we chose not to stay at um Willow Springs. Willow Springs, because Sky, Sky Track is closed. Yeah, Sky, that's the only reason we're going to go to Willow Springs. Mm. Sky Track, still closed because of the rain. They washed it all out, so they need to grade it. Yeah. So, um, just happened groceries. upon luck. Yeah, it was yeah. just luck. Just luck, I don't think. I think, Chris was, I think Chris was planning it the whole time. I think he'd already yeah. checked this place out. I think at the beginning of this video, I was talking about how it reminded me of Jurassic Park. And we've got these little fluffy birds here. It's just like a raptor pack here. Fluffy as hell. They're not scared at all. I mean, 10 centimeters away. They obviously get fed way too much. They're way too tame. Well, let's look at the map. It doesn't say much to me because they're only on here. So, the one track right near the uh, Willapina Resort, which Hammer says is a four-wheel drive track and looked like a four-wheel drive track. We're told no, that's only walking and bicycles. Can't do that. Next track down is Jones's track. Now this is a emergency vehicle only track now. So hopefully at some point there are actually tracks in Flinders Ranges that you can ride. I'm 100%. We're just not in the right area. And there's heaps of tracks that we can actually ride. I'm pretty sure that's the case here. Well, we finally found a track that is, uh, that's open. It's a bit of a, looks just like a, a bit of a normal road, but it's fine. It'll lead to somewhere. That's a pretty well, Sealed road, to be honest. Well, not well sealed, but pretty easy. I don't think there'll be any major climbs or anything on this one. But quite beautiful.
if you don't come for the uh, the riding, come for the scenery. Look at how beautiful this is. Just mountains all the way around, and I don't know if the GoPro you can see, but there's just a road just twisting right through these little hills all the way down. Amazing. Amazing. Phew. Wow. This is cool. Not technical or challenging, but beautiful and nice flowy long stuff. Sweeping corners. Man, yeah, if you had a big adventure bike, I think this would definitely be one of the tracks you want to do. Okay. Okay, you want a drink? You want to stop at the gorge? The gorge? Yeah. Today is all about exploring, just taking our time, having fun, and seeing where we can get lost. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's so nice to be off the tarmac and in some sort of off road environment. It's so nice. Um, man, it can get boring talking to yourself for hours on hours on tarmac, you know? But uh, this is so much nicer. here at this gorge and just doing some mid-track suspension work. Which way? Same, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Um, yeah, they're fully out. Okay. Alright. Chris's bike is pretty much still set up for the Simo where he asked Technics to set it up for a shit ton of weight so the springs are Rate, I suppose, for um, riding like this with no luggage. So we're just making some adjustments so it's not as harsh. A few of the little riverbeds we went through, his bike really bucks compared to mine. My suspension was set up by Joel in Perth. He's a tuning wizard. Far better than Technics. <laughs> far better. Far cheaper and far better than Technics. What a ripoff. Check this out. Check this out. How cool is this? This is uh, yeah, something you don't see in Victoria, I don't think. Well, at least I haven't seen anything like this in Victoria. It just seems, it feels so wild, wild west out here. It's so nuts. What was that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Caves up there in the, in the side. Pretty awesome. 
nice. Well, we just, uh, <laughs> we tried to do a track we shouldn't have done. We had a sign saying emergency vehicles only, and there was no gate though. So we thought, oh, it links up to the main road. Let's just give it a go. Let's try and do some sort of a track here that's not just a long graded road. And, uh, well, 100 meters in and around a the corner, <laughs> there's five parks, Land Cruiser cars parked there. And uh, they were nice enough, didn't really question what we were doing, but they basically told us that they only know of two four drive tracks in the whole of the Flinders, and you really have to get out of the Flinders to get onto any other tracks. So, we're going to have to think about something. We're still going to keep on going today and have a look around, ask a few other people, a few other locals, because surely we're just not looking in the right place. Surely. Well, we made it to Blinman North, which is here at the, the uh, hotel and pub. It's um, a small little town. And apparently we've done every single track in the actual Flinders Ranges uh, National Park, I suppose. Which wasn't really that much and not really that technical or difficult. Pretty simple now. Apparently, um, further up, over 100 kilometers in Akarula, there's a few other tracks that might be a bit more technical. But Chris hasn't got the fuel range because this place is supposed to have fuel, but um, today they've run out or something along those lines. So we're limited. So we're gonna go up to some um, mining ruin, which apparently around this area is the sort of the most difficult track, but I'm not really expecting much. It's probably just gonna be a gravel, rocky gravel road. We looked at Hammer. We probably should have done a lot more research, but we looked at Hammer. Hemmer has um, quite a lot of tracks actually. If you, yeah, if just at a glance, it's, there's tracks everywhere, but what we've come to realize is that they're for emergency vehicles only, and a lot of them are closed. So we need to, when we get back to camp, just sort of decide what we want to do. Are we going to maybe go to the Bendelbury Ranges, or are we going to just head home tomorrow, and rather than do the highway back home, which we we're going to do in two days, just smash it out, maybe take a bit longer and just go back all the back way and you know try and avoid bitumen as, as much as possible to try and um, make it a little better. But I suppose we were sort of thinking that the Flinders Ranges was going to be a whole lot of tracks tied together. You know, you could make your way all the way up from south to north doing some cool four drive tracks, you know, it's a little bit more difficulty. But it seems like there's long stretches in between those said four drive tracks. But anyway, not a worry, we will come up with some sort of a plan um, to get the most out of this trip. Not disappointed, I'm not disappointed, I'm a bit disappointed, but can't really blame this place. It's, it's more our fault, really, for, for not planning properly. Um, I was just talking to the camera before, Chris, Ta what? talking about our experience of Flinders Ranges so far and how we've already completed all the tracks in half a day. <laughs> Run on. Well, Hammer. Emma. Is a bullshit mapping company. It's a bullshit. We will do a summary of Emma's bullshit. All the tracks that it's taken there are all emergency vehicle only tracks. Or have now there been no turned tracks. into walking tracks. There are no fucking tracks. Even the bicycle track was marked as four wheel drive. Emma, you shit. <laughs> but we're still having a great day. Well, at least one of us is having a great day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 